a huge fan of thrift shops. Most of the clothes which I use for my videos are thrifted, especially denim. Denim jackets, jeans, all of them are thrifted and as you could see in my videos, they are all very good quality and in good condition. So like buying clothes in a thrift shops, not only I'm saving my money because I'm not buying a brand new clothing, but also I'm not contributing to uh, mass production and fast fashion, but I'm making customization in a sustainable way. Uh, so in this video, I decided to move further a bit and step away from a denim for a little while and um, I want to find some actually interesting pieces because in the thrift shops you can find so interesting and unique clothes so I want to find something one of a kind, maybe something vintage and maybe something from 90s so yeah, I want to show you how you can use thrift shops as a source of interesting one of a kind canvases uh, for your customization. I'm Daria and welcome back to Art Fashion channel. And I wish we had here a real shopping part where I'm going to thrift shops and I'm searching for clothes for customization and I'm showing you all kind of different interesting clothes. But unfortunately I don't have a possibility now to make such kind of a video because I live in a small town and we don't have any thrift shops here. Like, actually there are a lot of amazing thrift shops, vintage shops in Istanbul, which is three hours away from me. And I hope I will make such video too. I will go to Istanbul and we will make shopping together. I will show you all these amazing shops and we will search for interesting clothes uh, for customization there. But for now, I'm gonna make online shopping because we have here amazing online thrift shop and you can find all kind of clothes there. So yeah, let's make online shopping together. <laughs> and here's a website where I buy thrift clothes. Uh, here mostly people sell uh, clothes from their closets, but you can find brand new clothes, some accessories, shoes, furniture, like all kind of stuff here. <laughs> So to find interesting pieces, I uh, tap in the search bar vintage clothes because uh, people uh, tag their interesting pieces with this hashtag vintage clothes. It's gonna be clothes of their grandmothers, mothers, or just clothes they bought in some thrift shops, vintage shops. Now I'll show you a couple of uh, my favorite shops from this website. The first one is the shop where I buy mostly uh, vintage blazer jackets. Um, and yeah, I bought here two leather jackets and one was with the hidden messages and I create the whole customization based on those messages. The other one is very interesting shop. You can find a lot of interesting clothes and shoes. Like, look at those shoes. <laughs> they are fire. And I guess the owner of this shop just buys clothes in some vintage thrift shops and then resell them on this website and she definitely tries to find very interesting pieces. Look at those pants. Oh, they're so cool. I need these pants in my life. Or these pants. They're not for customization, definitely, because I, I'm not sure that the fabric is appropriate for customization, but they're so interesting like you don't even have to paint them they are already interesting <laughs> and the last shop where also i can find a lot of interesting pieces it's like jackets winter jackets and also jeans oh this dress is cute <laughs> but i would definitely destroy it i would buy it and i would create some graffiti design on it just to play on the contrast you know such a very good girl dress and crazy design on it <laughs> and here are the pieces which i bought the first one is a waistcoat i guess it's from 90s and i've never worn anything like that so i'm just wondering will i be able to create something interesting on it and the second piece is a jacket i guess it's also from 90s and i loved it because it's oversized and i love oversized jacket and also because it has such a versity jacket vibe. So yeah, I'm also gonna customize it. And here is waistcoat. And you know, uh, first I was thinking that I will customize front side in some way, maybe with patches, maybe in some different way. But then when I received this waistcoat and I saw uh, the back side of it, I said, okay, uh, this back side is perfect for customization. And 
I can create a contrast now. Uh, front side, uh, I've, I won't touch the front side. It will stay such a vintage, such formal a bit. And the back side will be absolutely crazy. <laughs> I will make something very interesting on it. And it's gonna be like connecting two different styles and two different eras, uh, like vintage 90s formal front side and modern creative street stylish uh, back side. Yeah, that is. Uh, I think it's an interesting idea. <laughs> and I think the such customization is a perfect way of. Uh, restyling old outdated clothes because retro style is not my vibe I have a lot of vintage clothes in my wardrobe but to fit them into my style I'm wearing them with modern clothes I'm styling them with the modern clothes or I customize them to turn them into unique interesting pieces of clothing and I chose such a very bold graffiti inspired design with such a bold lettering uh, again to create a contrast between formal, a bit boring front side and the back side which is gonna be over the top. <laughs> and I love to create meaningful designs, so I decided to write escape boring reality. So front side is gonna be no boring reality <laughs> and back side is gonna be escaping from this reality. And now I'm gonna use a golden outliner again to connect a front side and back side because on the front side there is such a golden thread which creates a plate pattern and on the back side this thread will go crazy. Uh, yeah, I think has a meaning in my design. <laughs> And now I'm going to remove chuck uh, to get a clean, beautiful design. And just a couple of finishing lines. Here is jacket and I'm so excited to customize it because it's huge, it's oversized. Uh, that's probably why I love oversized clothes because you have a huge space for customization. You can create very, very interesting design on such jackets. And I'm gonna customize all parts of this jacket, front side, back side, sleeves. And I'm gonna create a design in my favorite style, which is chaotic style. I'm gonna create a chaos <laughs> on this jacket. Many, many different images. I'm gonna create, a, a write some things. And thinking of the design, I was just sitting and sketching whatever comes to my mind. Normally, I don't create very detailed sketches, but here, as you can see, I enjoyed uh, the process. I enjoyed sketching. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna create design inspired uh, by the sketchbook page. Let's imagine sketchbook page, an artist sitting and sketching many, many different things on one page. And this is going to be my inspiration. I'm going to create a sketchbook a page uh, on the jacket. The color scheme of my design is going to be black and red because I think that such color scheme will go great with uh, the beige color of the jacket. And I'm going to use a lot of different techniques. I'm going to use fabric markers. I'm going to use spray paint. I'm gonna use watercolor technique. 
yeah the more techniques the better in such kind of designs uh, chaotic designs uh, the more interesting details the better and I guess I'm gonna improvise a lot in this uh, design because for now I have only the sketch of the girl, of the animal and some small details but I need more details because as I said it's gonna be such chaotic design so I need many many different details to fill up this huge space uh, but I'm gonna create all the details in the process for example I don't know what to write now but uh, in the process of painting I will create an idea <laughs> It's always happening, you know, when I'm painting, such inspiration strikes me and I'm like, okay, I need to write this or I need to add this detail, I need to paint this image and such way I'm creating a design, you know, it's kind of life process. By the way, the fabric of this jacket is great, it's easy to work with it, it's pretty smooth. I'm not sure that it's a cotton probably it's a polyester cotton blend so for such fabrics uh, i'd not recommend to create very very complicated like designs multi-layer designs uh, because you never know how the fabric will accept so many layers and paint so if you are not sure in the fabric uh, to play safe uh, you need to create uh, such one, two layers design and then you won't have any problems with washing and, you know, wearing such clothes. So I have the idea, I'm gonna create a design um, a around the idea of uh, leaving your fears behind and becoming a stronger woman, a woman who uh, doesn't afraid, uh, nobody can stop her, like a, such a strong person, strong woman design. <laughs> I'm using different fonts, here I'm creating calligraphy <laughs> and I have an experience of making calligraphy on fabrics. So that experience helps me a lot now to don't afraid to write, uh, to create calligraphy freehand. And here also you can see I'm improvising. <laughs> I decided to create a pattern which will connect uh, images together. Because in such chaotic designs it's important to connect images in some way with lettering or some strokes or some paint splatters. So here I'm gonna use pattern as an element which connects everything in one design. And spray paint, because why not? The more interesting techniques, the better. And design on the sleeves. As you can see, I'm using a lot of markers, and here I'm really enjoying using markers. Actually, I'm not a markers person. I prefer to use brush uh, and paint, fabric paint. But this fabric is just perfect for fabric marker. It's so smooth, and the markers look so bright and vivid on such fabric. And here I'm going to use watercolor effect technique. I'm mixing fabric paint with a large amount of water and I'm creating a watercolor wing. 
And the front side. Uh, customizing front side is easy once you customize back side because I'm gonna use like the same techniques, uh, some elements, uh, as you can see pattern I create on the front side as well, then uh, spray paint, um, yeah, lettering, like the same elements but a bit different of course <laughs> to finish the story. Okay guys, I have an idea. Let's make like this. If you support this video with your like, with your comment, and if I see that this video is doing well, uh, for my next video of this series, uh, I will go to Istanbul and I will spend all day there and together we will explore all the amazing uh, thrift shops, vintage shops there, and you'll find amazing pieces for customization. Uh, so yeah, support this video with a like. If you are new here, subscribe for more painting on clothes videos. And here is the final result. Mm -hmm.